This is Chrissy from Fort uh, Photography for Beginners Editing Group. Thanks all for watching the video. Um, I hope to make lots more. I hope that they really help you guys. I'm having some trouble with my recording software. This is the first video I've ever made, and uh, so I apologize if there's any audio issues. I'm trying to talk to you fast, but uh, hopefully uh, you'll get enough to figure out what I'm doing, and I will try to work on a fix for this for the next video that I do. So this is the image that I've done, I've done recently. A lot of people have asked me how I get rid of the wrinkles, or they've asked me why I don't bother ironing my backdrops before I take my picture. Uh, and honestly, the answer is it's just so easy to uh, do it in Photoshop. It's, it's actually quicker to edit them out than it is for me to iron an entire king-size bed sheet. So this is my image in uh, Lightroom. I just made some basic adjustments, and I'm going to throw Photoshop. Photoshop is going to open up for me here. So to get rid of the backdrop wrinkles, I'm only using the clone tool, but it really only takes me 10 minutes or less. First thing you do is find an area that is relatively wrinkle free. Uh, and that's for me up in this corner here. If you also have a space bar, you can move your image around. So then in this wrinkle free area, I will just get rid of any blemishes that I don't like. Uh, just like that. And the reason I clone, I mean, for the amount of painting that I end up doing on this, I could technically just pick a nice shade of blue and uh, put that over everything, but I don't want blue. Oops, get rid of that. Uh, because Photoshop paint is very flat, and the problem with very flat colors is if I take this back into uh, Lightroom and add any kind of gradient, uh, I'm going to end up with a lot of banding in that flat color. And that's not something that I want because it's hard to get rid of banding. So the best way I found to not have banding is to have texture. And I'll show you in a moment. Um, you know, from a distance, it almost looks like it could be a flat shade of blue, but it really isn't. There is always texture in here, and I'm just kind of cloning that texture from one part to the other, but it's still there. There's still some variations in the shade of blue. You can kind of see some little speckles. And that helps me not have to deal with banding issues. So as you can see, it's only been a minute or two. I haven't even been paying much attention because I'm busy talking here while I do it. And uh, I've, I've already gotten rid of a considerable amount of wrinkles. If I was to go through this picture and kind of try to take out every wrinkle one at a time, it would take me quite a while. Uh, might go a little cross-eyed by the end of it. This way, though, the, you know, the bigger the clean area that I have is, the bigger I can make my brush, and uh, the, the faster it even will go. And I just keep picking a good area, hitting the Alt button, clicking, and continuing. And that's why, when I was setting this shot up, I didn't care that there were wrinkles. It didn't bother me. I didn't want to have to iron all of this. And this way is much quicker. So it's only been about three minutes, and uh, I've already got half my image done here. It's not hard. I'm not spending a lot of time on the details. So I've only got a couple of minutes of video left. So I want to show you how I handled cloning the wrinkles around the cape, because it's a fun trick. So I've grabbed my pen tool here. I'm going to click on the edge there, and I'm going to click right here. These should line up as best as they can. That doesn't even matter. You can see there's tons of cape in there I'm not even capturing. I don't care. If you hit the Alt button on one of those anchor points that lets you drag it around, uh, helps you control the shape of the arc that you're creating. I'm going to cut in around her neck super quickly here. Just like that. And uh, not being careful because I've already edited this picture. Uh, this is just to kind of show how I got the crisp line around the cape. Once I've closed off that, I right click and say make selection, set a radius of zero so I get the sharpest line possible, and then I go back to my clone tool. Move it a bit smaller here. Pick a good area, and I continue cloning away these wrinkles, and as you can see, I don't have to even be careful around the cape here because it's not going to go on any part of the cape that is not within this selection. And it 
it's even letting me get right up next to her face and it's letting me take out that little bit of red cape that I didn't want because I wanted to have her, her face kind of clear. So then when I'm done with that, Control D, Command D if you're on a Mac, and I've got a super sharp line there. And I, I didn't have to pay much attention, it was relatively easy. So the only other thing is when you're getting close to her, you know, these wrinkles here, you might think it'd be a problem to get rid of. They're really not that hard. What I would do is uh, make my brush a little smaller. I also reduce the opacity to 30%, 30, 33, 35. Pick a good area and just tap in there. It's not going to get rid of everything in one stroke, which is great. It sort of eases the transition from cloned to uh, what was already in the image. of clicks. You do want, like I said, or I believe I said, uh, you want to leave some shadow. You want some dimension and some depth in your image. You don't want to get rid of everything, but I want the, the wrinkle gone. So now I'm just kind of click, click, click in a way and just lightening up what I see in there. And then when I've gotten next to her the way I wanted, I can switch back to 100%. That's about all the time I've got for this. I'm not going to finish this image because I've already done it. Um, but if you liked the little pen tool trick, I can show you another one in my next video about how I got this awesome skyline in there. So thank you for sticking with me for this very first video that I've done. I hope it helped somebody. Um, I hope it made you less afraid of getting rid of wrinkles. Um, once you've done it a few times, you see it's really not that difficult to do and it, you just get faster and faster the more you try it and uh, it there does come a point I promise where you will say yeah this is definitely quicker than dragging out the iron and the ironing board uh, so thank you very much for joining me can't wait to have more videos to share with you and happy editing thanks a bunch bye bye <laughs>